Okay, so we have Roland. We have his character model. We have, if I go into render view for a little bit, um, I'm not going to work in render view, but we'll jump in render view for a second and see what we're working with. This is kind of the setup the stage we're working on for his character model. Uh, this is what, this is the file and, and subsequent files we'll, we'll work on. Um, there's just like quick sun and then uh, we have a gobo right here, which you can't see in the viewport, but is shining. Actually, I think it might be doing nothing. So let's shut that off. And so for today's stream for modeling, we can't get done too much under 30 minutes, but we, what we can do, what I want to try and get going is create the cracks in his sides because that's a big part of the story. And, um, and the glasses right here aren't final because the real models that we make are gonna, the model that we make for the glasses is gonna be more this way. It's gonna kind of extrude more. And come over here so the center of his body um, will go with the stems but <clears throat> for now we're just gonna eyeball it and then fix the glasses later so what we want to do is go into side view mode um, I'm actually this guy is out actually tilted a little bit I don't think anything is parented so let me um, we also have a high, we have a shrink wrap modifier with some higher detail um, from this mesh right here. So I think what we can do um, for this is we can probably just apply this um, and fix all the, this pose isn't the final pose because when I, when I rig, when I go into rigging his eyeballs and stuff, I'm gonna have his eyes closed and fix the texture and stuff. So even this is still not um, final, but here we go. We're gonna apply this. Um, we're gonna apply, um, now it's up to three. Let me just, probably just hide it for now. That's fine. Um, and then go into side view mode. Actually, I'll go into this side first. And this is his center, right? But I want him to... I want to parent all these things to the mesh for a second. Go into side view mode and then rotate this way. Maybe the glasses can just, the stems can come down a bit. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> I was originally gonna try and fix like the, the angle of the stems, but that will be done later. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go into edit mode and right there you can see this is this the retopologized um, shell of his, of his mesh. And then uh, I originally started sculpting with, with the brow shapes and stuff. This is, this is what we have here. Uh, this is what I sculpted, and then I have a retopologized version, which you just saw. If I go into edit mode, this is super high dense mesh. So um, I have a shrink wrap modifier for this this one to the high poly. Um, but for now, I'm just shutting it off. And so then I retopologize it, and this is what we have. But right now, I'm going to kind of mess it up and just cut it up because what we have for the, um, the K is knife tool, yeah. I'll pull up some reference images in a second, but I'm gonna start maybe back here and just start cutting, or cutting up a size like this maybe, and then I'm just gonna hit enter. Uh, I'm gonna turn off subdivision for now. Um, this is also gonna mess up his texture too, but we'll have to rebake and re um, shade his, um, reshade it a little bit just to fix the bump, the bump map, I think. So then 
I'm also gonna go into here and do this again and kind of just go, I wonder if I could just use the one that's adjacent to it, but like this, and then let's see what happens if we select these and just delete these faces. Obviously, that you can see right through it. We'll have to make, we'll have to model some, um, we'll have to model some. What do you call it? It's the inside a little bit. Maybe we can do a solidify modifier, but we'll have to see. That would mess it up. I'm just gonna drag these down a bit and then tweak, I'm gonna tweak the, nope, don't want that. Let's tweak this a little bit so it's not super, you know, lightning bolt shape. Okay. And then maybe actually, let's see what happens. When we go into render view. <clears throat> and then let me pull up, I have a reference image of what a broken golf ball looks like, which would be super helpful. This section has some golf balls that are broken, which is great for what we need. So right here, you can see this is pretty cool. Um, this is pretty slim and you can see the inside like color, which can be really fun to add to him to Roland um, Kind of I don't know what color we we'll use maybe just black just so it doesn't mess up color schemes or whatever But we could also look at this reference here where it shows the inside of um, Of all these golf balls that one's too um, Canyony I want something thinner so it's not super distracting. Some something like that would be good, but also a, a nail or something has to fit through it as well. So I'm thinking maybe, I like this one a lot. You can also see the colors like I was talking about. So I'm gonna take this, this shape looks pretty good, but I'm going to maybe tweak it a bit. So it's not, like I said, so, um, Maybe this can be a little bit more open and then this is more closed. Movie tweaking and movie these around is gonna be um, it's going to mess up the textures, like I said. I'll show you. So moving these around, you can see the texture underneath is getting warped. But right here where it's cracked is, it's kind of like, this is it, this is where it literally split. So makes sense. Um, I'm gonna go on the other side and do this one. I think it's three. So if I go into ghost mode, you can see this is where this one was. So I wanna mimic, I can tweak it after, but I wanna mimic, um, I want it to go straight through. So that's because that's where his axle is gonna be inside. Um, I'll go over more of his uh, anatomy and whatnot in future streams because that's part of the story, his glasses and and his whole mechanism there is, is uh, part of the story. So we'll get into it at a later stream. But for now, I'm just gonna go up here. Maybe just bring this one across. Maybe it ends, it flips up this one. Um, oh, I think I messed that part up. Yeah, this needs to be, I can dissolve this part. I just have to pay attention to the time. If, if you see it go to zero and I don't notice it, let me know. But I I'm gonna keep my eye on the timer. Um, bring this one down a little bit. Maybe bring this one up. Maybe I can, well, let me merge. Well, I'm gonna go back. Or I'm gonna redo that because I'm just gonna do this, the, the edge below it. I'm just gonna have it. Um,
that's going to be the, the edge of it. So I'm going to merge these two. I think. Widen this part up. All right, and now I'm gonna take my face selection and just delete these faces. And I can see that it's off a little bit. It's too high, like this is, this is the other side. It's higher up, so I want to make sure they're on the same height. So I'm gonna go back into see-through mode. What is this even called? I always call it ghost mode. <laughs> X-ray mode. I like calling it ghost mode though. Um, this one started over here. That makes me think, yeah, these, um, these edges are not perfectly aligned, which is, could be a problem. You can see if I go into ghost mode, like these two are aligned up top, but this edge and this edge are on two separate sides. Anyway, we'll fix that later. For now, I'm going to take these edges that I just cut out and just move them up so the center is the same. Let me And I keep, again, I keep saying that this is gonna mess up the texture. Um, but it's all part of the process, right? You know, it's, it's iterating and it's uh, fixing. So I'm not worried about it. Just kind of lined up with that crack a little bit. Don't want them to be the same. That's why this one's kind of like, maybe this one, it's okay if, it's okay if they're not super lined up. I just need the center, which is this yellow dot, um, the center of, of the um, sphere here, because that's the, the axis rotation. And if I bring in a UV sphere, And then go like this, you see this is where the center of the of the ball is. So as it rotates like this, um, that's this is where the this is where the screw should be, right? Because the screw is the ends of the the pole that's gonna go through and lower. Which makes sense because his glasses are kind of like, they kind of have this shape to them a little bit, very slightly. Um, Cause he's kind of like a sad little dude, a little bit, you know, at the beginning, at the beginning of the movie. But, um, but we, we can lower them. So let me delete that again. Go back to my side view. So right here is where I want them to be. So actually I need to lower both of them to be there. I'll have to do the other, the other one as well. I want this to flip up. This one go down, this one up a little bit, I guess. As long as the center of where the yellow dot is, is in the middle of these, the space, we should be fine. So I'm gonna go back and fix this side. We have 12 minutes left, um, and then maybe add a little bit of, um, maybe a geometry in this inside, just, just where it's covering, but I'll try solidify, modifier. And we also have like, I'm gonna, we have this, it's more scraggly, like right here. 
and this this movie is also stylized it's not hyper realistic but i maybe add some um more randomness to this crack um but right now we're just getting the overall shape and we're also we also end in a try we also end in this over here so i think where I messed up before was um, was moving this. Play. Take my son. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoops. Yeah, so we can see a little better. Yeah, so this circle is continuing, so I'm gonna... Wait, if I do this... Oh, okay. Yeah, moving... Moving warps it, but... Sliding doesn't. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I thought they would both have an effect on that the texture, but that's interesting. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Um, bring these closer up. So there's minimal distortion to the texture like we were just talking about. And then we can merge these because it'd be barely a difference. Selecting both and hitting Shift R uh, redoes, redoes that um, last operation. So, which is merged the last. Okay. Um, now we can move these. I'm just going to select all of them and just move it down like this because I like the shape that it is. Perfect. There we go. Um, and maybe this one can go. Cool. Nine minutes. So now we have some cracks and I could make one side shorter, but when the, in the movie, when he, um, is the first time he, he gets played mini golf, he gets injured and that's where these cracks come in and his vision blurs. But, um, there's going to be a shot where like he hits the side of the wall so hard that it's like a, it's like a squash and stretch but it's like a squash, slow-mo squash, and then you can see like the tear happen. Um, that's gonna be, we'll storyboard that um, part at some point. Um, so, I wonder what happens if I turn on, is this gonna, I know it's gonna smooth out, but if I turn on, yeah, we're losing a lot of that and we're getting some more pinching. That's what I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna have to make some edge loops. Um, we're also coming to, oh no, we're not. I thought it was going to that one. We're going to this edge, which is a seam, which we don't want to do. Um, but that's all right, we're just getting the basic basically so it right now so um this one's super jagged uh, but I, I also want to keep the we're designing this on the fly Let's see, now, um, maybe see what happens if I add solidify because that might torch it. Let me save seven minutes. 
Um, Solidify. Ooh, yeah, see. Man, I don't know what that is. After this, well, probably need two, but again, we'll need to. Oh, yeah, that shrink wrap definitely messes it up. So maybe we'll just add some geometry inside, like extrude it. Um, I wonder if. Creating these edge loops first. I'll fix this in a bit. This is not good. Um, topology 101, but because we need to connect, this is a end gone. We don't want this. Yes. Merge these. Does that do anything? Now it's gonna be pinching again, but slightly better. Yeah, I wonder how we can get more. We can these. Well, we can add more points on here to get this because this isn't going to deform too much there's no you know if I uh, if I go through and do if I select just all of the ones we just made and subdivide these just to get more fidelity out of oh, out of the crack so it's not so smooth let me see if I turn on subdivision there. Like, yeah. Uh, Cause I could also do hardened edge, well, hardened edges. Let me undo that loop real quick. Okay. If I do this, 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 this. And then if I right click and say edge crease. No. Edge. No, not bevel weight. Slightest mark sharp. Mm, that doesn't do it either. Okay. Three minutes. So this pinching that's happening here, I don't definitely don't want on this seam. So I'll have to redo this loop real quick. Yeah, it's still it's still happening there, but let's see what happens when I go into a render view again. Yeah, we're getting some grossness right here. I'm warping a little bit. Yeah, like this, look at this circle here. All these are all, that's okay. Um, I 
Let me try and do what I did before where I Go to these edges and then do subscribe so these a couple of times. It's definitely gross, it's not behaving right, but now I'm gonna delete this. Cause this is like a crazy end gone. Just twice. Cause I'm not gonna bother cutting this up. This would make a lot of edges this way. One minute left. Quick, let's do uh we're gonna do this side. Real fast with an edge loop. I know it's not perfect, but we only have a minute left. Okay, and then we're gonna take these subdivide them twice, like we did the other side. So now it's more angular rather than like a smooth I mean it's still a smooth curve but we can now manipulate some um, some of these points to make it not so perfect like this 10 seconds I think I moved a part of the down here. Whoops. Time's up. Okay. Woo. We got a little, little progress. Let's go into, um, let's go into render view and see what we did. Not too much, but slight progress here. It's a little bit, a little bit goes a long way every day. Um, so we have these cracks inside a little bit. They're not perfect, obviously. We still have to finish the inside portion. Um, and obviously the texture got warped like we were talking about, but we're in the right path. So, and we're also seeing through the center here. So if, if I were to create a cylinder, extremely small, rotate it along the y axis 90 degrees. Go into my side view. Make it even smaller. We'll have to kind of adjust That, but basically this is the thought process behind it there's a rod that goes in the middle of him which is kind of weird but in order for the shopkeeper the uh, mini golf owner is also a woodworker like my dad and um, when he fastened the glass the only way to fasten the glasses to him was to is to make this axle and screw them together at some point. I, I don't know how, um, you know. I 
I don't know how big this should be. Like, I want to make an actual, like, look at hardware. See how big, uh, like how thick the diameter should actually be. But, and then the stems of the glasses are fastened to this part. So, that's the thought process behind it a little bit. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the modeling section of this stream. And now we're on to the next one.